Some of them. So, okay. When you install Chrome Vault, you install Chrome Vault and all that stuff, right? Fine. And you did a install where you put it in the Chrome Vault. So you either did it install to the local computer or you did it like download later, whatever. So we choose download later, right? What happens is it puts it into the package right here. So to put it like in like a download package folder in a tar folder. So if you try to install remotely, uh, or let's just try it. Or let's try it right here, right? So you got the download package. Great. You double click on it, right? Okay, I'm going to do this and set up, right? Whatever. And it's going to say, like, do you want to put it on another computer? Do you want to download package? Whatever. Let's walk through it a little bit. And it's uh, trying to install. Yeah. All right. Okay, come well. What are we doing here? Did I not click on something? Yes, it's just waiting. All right, here we go. Okay. So this is how you typically would set up a package to, like, just say media agent, right? I want to put, I want to install media agent in another client, whatever. This is another way to do it. Unfortunately, in your lab, it doesn't work this way. Uh, anyway, I'm going to check you through the steps, but I'll show you the real way to do it. So you click uh, next or whatever, right? Agree, fine. Okay, here's what I was talking about earlier. So... When you select create a custom package, right, on a different computer, what that does is creates these uh, these two here. Not this one, but these two. The download package uh, location and the download package tar. This right here, this tar, that is the Linux tar uh, tape archive file. So when you install Linux, that's what that's there for. Anyway, so w let's say you create a custom package, right, next or whatever. And I want to do like a Windows 64 bit, right? Whatever. Now, if you just select, say, I just want to select a media agent, right? And maybe do a file system. That's it. That's all I'm doing, right? If I do this, because I've done it before, and I set it up or whatever, and, you know, next or whatever, blah, blah, blah. What happens is it puts it into this folder here. So I did right here, download package three, because I did it like three times, didn't work, anyway. So what happens is if you double click here, and then you look at say like the install, okay? And it's gonna install like the, uh, the com serve, right? I don't want it to install the com serve. I don't want it to do that. You know, the SA password, I don't want, I don't want all that. So basically what I'm saying is it's gonna install the, File system, the com serve, and I don't want that. I just want the I just want the media agent. Um, anyway, so that's been my experience with that. So I'll tell you how to get around that. And here's how you get around it. You uh, you have to copy the the copy the software basically to it, right? So I'll show you how to do that. So you're in your Java console. You right click on the com vault, the com serve, right? You go to you go to tools, then add remove software, and then copy software, okay? And then it's gonna prompt here. Okay, so what that means is you gotta put the, the path of the file in there. So let's see, software, whatever, install, blah, blah. Yeah, so you gotta put this package right here. Double click on that. You got to put this in there, basically. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to copy it to the com the cache or whatever, com vault. So when that's done, you're gonna get like a. It's gonna run, uh, run its stuff, copy software, blah blah, and it's gonna look like this. Like, oh, good, fine, happy, I'm good, and completed, sync, download, whatever. Um. And then you come here, and you don't want to view it. Like, where is it at, right? Um, so you go all tasks, add, remove software, then software, is it software? Let's see, I think it's here. Software cache, 
Yeah, right here. So here's here's the location of it, right? Uh, and you, the reason you do this is because you need to install you need to install the media agent, but you need to do it a little differently or whatever you're trying to install. So because if you don't do it that way, here's what happens. Let me show you. If you don't do that and you try to install a media agent, you're going to get this error, right? And how did why did I get the error? I got the error because I went to new I went to tools, add room software, right? Install software, and I went through the steps to install a media agent, but I didn't have the software, the copy software there, so it didn't work. And this is the error throw. So if you ever you ever see this error and you're like, why did I see that error? Because I'm trying to push, you know, an install, and this is what you're going to get. It's because hey, you don't have the software cache. Ah, huh, odd. That's the error you're going to see. Anyway, so so that's uh, that's that's really software cache. So the reason you need this is so you can. It's an easy button, right, to install software on like a distant client. So let's do and let's do this, right? Install software, right? Let me just show you, right? Install software next. Windows, fine, good. In manual, right? And then import, uh, fine, happy, goodbye, whatever. And I'm going to do, this is five, so I'm going to do four. That's my media agent I'm going to have. Add next. I'm going to put my credentials in and push next. All right. I go to media agent. And I'm going to do the file system, file system four, next, and next, next, fine, next. So I do have a firewall in between. It's a Windows firewall. So I'm going to do come. Sometimes I get a little confused on these, right? Anyway, so what I did was I opened a port on 8403 on Windows. So if you go to start, control panel, uh, let's see. Security, right? Windows Defender. And you go, say, like, Advanced Settings. Okay. And all I did was create an inbound and outbound rule for 8403. That's all I did. And I did it on TCP port. You're going to see it, like, see what it looks like. So, uh, allow... A lot of this connection, right? And approach and protocols, TCP, local, all, um, specific, right? That's all I did. And I did it on the media agent as well. So this is a, there's a firewall, of course, there is between the client machines and the comp server. So the comp server can open connection towards the client machines because I need to be able to install to the, the client or the media agent, I should say. So encrypt a tunnel, find good, next, and then mediate, and then finish. And then uh, let's look at our job. So it's going to install. Now, if it fails, I know why. It's because of that port number. i got to change it up a little bit. Maybe then I have to maybe do the other setting. Anyway, client status, right, whatever. And then it's going to install the media agent uh, on the other client. All right, failed. Obviously, they failed because the firewall, right? Uh, failed, blah, 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 firewall, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. The password's not inaccurate. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. It's fine. Um, fine. It's just a firewall, right, issue. So let me just figure that out real quick. This time, we're going to try the other way. Client machines can open. Connection to the comp serve. Let's try that. 8403 is my IP address. I've really never had any good experience in the lab setting this up. Where it, I, what I've done in the past is I've just opened the port, right? I mean, I opened the firewall, unlocked the firewall, just opened it up, didn't have a firewall in between. I'm like, let me just figure this out. You know, so. Anyway, so this is the uh, this is what I'm trying to do here. It was really good today, huh? What are you doing, combo? All right, so that didn't work either. So what I did was, I uh, I I did the other way. 
and it didn't work, so whatever. So let's do this. Let's open up the port, right? Um, let's do. Yeah, I need to do TCP and UDP. I just figured out. I'm not a firewall person, obviously, right? So, and probably you aren't either, right? When you uh, when you set this up, so anyway, advanced and inbound rules. Okay, fine. Roll three. Uh, let's see. Let's do protocols. Let's do that. And find good. And okay, fine. There, perfect. And that's fine. All right. Let's go to our media agent. And. Go here. This is our media agent, by the way. That well, it's one I want to go to the media agent. Windows Defender, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Advanced settings, and then uh, inbound rules. Do this. Go properties. Be okay. Any is fine. Good. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold on. I think I messed up here. I think I messed up because I I'm letting any port, right? <laughs> don't do that. What am I doing? I didn't even pay attention. Look at that. Yeah, I can't I can't be doing that. I can't be doing that. Let's do this. Let's go TCP. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's do. That one. Let's just turn off the firewall, right? Let's do that. Let's turn off the. Let's see, turn off the firewall just for domain traffic. Let's do that one. Just the domain traffic, right? Let's figure that out. And let's do the same thing here. Go panel. Uh, let's see. Security. Don't do this in the lab, by the way. Do it the right way. Okay. It's labs, like who cares, right? But don't don't do it in a production environment. What I'm doing, not advisable. Anyway, let's do uh, resume job or resubmit. Sorry, next. Fine. I don't have to worry about that. And there's no firewall. Fine. And fine. So now, let's see what do we got here. Congratulations if you're a firewall person and you know how to figure this out. I don't know yet, and I'm um, working it, working that issue. But let's just get it working, right? That's the whole point. Just get the work, get it working. That's all that matters here. Just get it working. I'm gonna close the network, right? So it's it's fine. But if you're in a production environment, don't do it. Okay. Really? Okay, I'm looking for the convo folder right right there as I'm looking. See it. All right. It's kind of boring, right? Yeah, this is uh this is your job. Just so you know, this is boring. Doesn't it's not quick, 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 next, next, next. 
You have to wait. You have to figure stuff out. Yeah, figure this out, right? All right, fine. I am just going to have to. Might be a missions issue on my end. Let me check my. Let me check my username, password. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, I'll just do that. Maybe that's an issue. My username. That's yeah. That's probably the issue. And I'm just going to change this here. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, do this. Not on the domain, technically. Not on the domain, but you know what? I think I just need to make. I need to make. Um, I need to make that. Uh, I need to make this part of the domain. I don't think it is. It's comserve. Let's do that. I don't know if it is or not. Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Where are my users at? Okay. That's a user. So let's do this. Let's just make a new user. And let's see, search. And let's make this one actually. This one right here. Make that one a. Yeah. Make that one a uh, part of the the group. Are you admin? Let's see. Make this one a master. All right. Let's see this again right. okay okay No firewall. Remember, I took the firewall away. And yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't really look at the logs, right? So it could have been just something else, but whatever. Fine. It doesn't matter. It's a lab. Not a big deal. To be attempted. Let's take a look at our, our media agent. There. Not yet. Yeah, nice. Transfer and package. Sweet. That's what I like to hear. This is a permissions issue, maybe. All right, good to hear. I still don't see it there. I should see Commvault here, right? Program files. Nope, oh, there's Commvault. All right, it's working. Nice, cool. Good. Now, let's see here. Should see something start to come up here too. Uh, services. These services. And obviously, in the real in the real world environment. You would check like beforehand, right? You'd make sure that their firewall's working, and you wouldn't want to disable the firewall in any possible way because of the production environment. But you know, lab environment, no big deal. Oh, look, it's here. Cool. All right, good. Let's take a look. Uh. 
don't know what's up with my server here. It's really slow today. Commvault does take a lot of memory, right? Obviously, but that's only in the comm serve. Usually, your media agents not doesn't require a lot, and they're not they're not VMs either, right? These are physical boxes. My my previous labs before, and they were just like VMs. Like, come on, logging it down. Like, all right, enough of that. So I just you know found some uh, servers, small servers, and uh, okay, let's put a let's put a Windows on it. I got what. 179 days left uh, for it to play around with. Yeah, so anyway, let's see our pro uh, services. So we got missing another one. It should be loading here soon. Yeah. Running. Yep. Yeah, install file system. Nope, oh, running. Look, did it installed file system continue with? Selected package. Install, let's see the install folder. Let's look at this. Cool. Yeah, these are the services installing. Nice. Good times. One more I'm missing. Yeah, here's my uh, install log. We could tail it real time, right? Um, let's see. So, uh, let's see. D drive and C drive Commvault. program files vault content store base and GXT launches. Yeah. GX tail. Exhale. Hmm. I guess it hasn't put the GX tail there yet. I promise when you install it and if you've done it like a hundred times you're gonna have issues you know every every time it's a new one right every time there's always something go wrong or doesn't do what you wanted to do yeah it's normal so just know that right it's normal so everything i'm doing here you're gonna experience don't worry about it this is not something that's just because you know oh man you know this is like a, not a normal. This is normal. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it if it happens to you. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's running. So I'm gonna come back when it's uh when it's done. Okay. All right. So it's running right, and let me show you what it looks like. Right. Okay. Remember I was showing you earlier about the GX tail. It it wasn't there before. Now it's there. So what you do is you right click like on your logs and you see this here and it's like real time, you know, kind of data basically of what's going on. And then if you hit like W, it's going to like make it W word wrap, right? So you won't see all that right here. Be like conformed in. Yeah, W. 
Let me completed. Fine. Install registry. Com yeah, cleared. Completed. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, cool. Completed. Fantastic. All right. So now go to just to see it, right? Just to prove it. It's there. Whatever. Go to. This is a pretty beefy um serve, right? And I don't know what's going on with this deal here. It's slow. Uh, let's see. So processes, services. Oh, they're running. Media agent. Yeah, you're going to see this right here. You get a media agent and let's use the file system. All right, okay. So we'll go here, we'll go to client computers. I don't know why it's taking this time. Media agents. All right, cool, good. So I have my two media agents. I have my com serve, which is kind of a media agent as well. And I have this one right here. What I, what I usually do is this. I like to right click and I do um, restall our services. So when I do that, I come over here to the the actual media agent. What happens is you'll see this, you'll see it, um, you'll see it go away. I mean, you could I do these usually for clients. When I install a client. I'll, I'll do this anyway. I'll know it's. I'm actually browsing. I'm. Uh, it tell it tells me 100% that I'm actually able to connect to it, and then if I want to do it, yeah, good. If I want to do it even one step further, I might do this. I might go say, file system, and you can do this file system media agent, but you know I do it any client I install. Double click on it, then go to browse, content browse, and if I see client like the contents there i know i'm good you know i see all my drives you know that i have there i know i'm good i can like click on one right oh fine good fantastic i know i'm good um so obviously you know it's a long video and you probably didn't need to see all that nonsense right but just wanted to show you how it works and you know some of the issues you're going to run into you know i've done this a lot of times right i've done installs a lot and Sometimes it just works that way. So, yeah, production environment is a little different, obviously, right? But you know, um, so it turns out it was just tape. We, I think it was just a permissions issue. That's what I think it was. So, lesson learned for that. So next time, check your no. For to myself, right? Is check the permissions. You know, check the user because I was trying to install with this user here, and that user. It, the issue was, right, I was trying to install with this, which is fine, but the problem is this user had not ever installed, sorry, this user had never logged in to the media agent on that domain, and I think that's the issue. That's why it didn't, it didn't work. So, all right, well, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.